Mrs. Horton here. I am going to share with you a bunch of STEAM activities for this week on Wednesday, April 22nd. It is Earth Day, and so we thought we would share some really cool things that you could do at home with simple things that you can find around your house. If you do participate and do some of those projects, please share them with us at hashtag WCSFlight. We'd love to see what you make. For our first activity, you're going to need Skittles. I purchased two bags of the Wildberry because they have the blue and green. My goal is to create an earth looking um, project. I've separated them out, blues and greens. I have some reds here because I'm going to try to put a heart in the middle. And then you're going to need some warm water. But first you're going to arrange your Skittles on a plate as shown. The goal here is to have some of the blue be water green be land and a heart in the middle just for fun. I have some warm water I'm going to pour in and we'll watch the magic happen. You want to pour it nice and slow so you don't disrupt your skills. I sped this part up for our video. Yours will take a little longer. Remember any kind of design will make really cool effects in the water. I can't wait to see what yours look like. That bird feeder is pretty fun and easy. Here's another idea. For this, you'll need an empty water bottle, some scissors or a cutting tool, a stick of some sort, here I used a pencil, and some bird seed. You can even use things like milk jugs. This one I've cut holes out of for birds to get the seeds out of. You just simply cut what you want, decorate, pour the seeds in, and hang them outside. I'll leave the really creative decorating to you guys. Here's one that I made out of a water bottle. You need to cut a hole on both sides about halfway down. And then you can stick a pencil through so that birds can sit on the ends and eat the bird seed. You can decorate these too. Tie a string and hang it on a tree. A quick Google search and you can find all sorts of ideas. For our next activity, you're going to need three ingredients. Table salt, flour, and water. Mix two cups of flour one cup of table salt, and one cup of water in a big bowl. Mix until all is well blended and you'll end up with a very nice soft dough. Once you have your well blended dough, you have to decide if you want to leave it as is and paint it later when it's dry, or you could separate it out and put food coloring in now and make it all sorts of colors. I'm going to roll mine out as is because I'm going to paint mine later to look like the planet Earth. I've got a circle cookie cutter. You could use a glass rim if you don't have a cookie cutter or anything circle will do. Cut out as many as you want. You can even use different shapes. Here I've got a duck cookie cutter and so I used that to make a duck shape. You can use this dough to cut out any shapes you want. 
When you're finished, you're going to get a toothpick and you can put designs on. For my case, I'm going to make an earth. So I want to sketch out the land so that later on, when they're dry, I can paint the land green and the oceans blue. Don't forget to use a straw of some sort to poke a hole so that you can put a string on later and hang them up. You could also put magnets on the back and use them on your refrigerator. Now you just need to let them dry so that you can paint and decorate them later. Can't wait to see all your wonderful salt dough creations. We are going to try to attempt to make some art with our pet's paws. Today I'm going to try to make some flowers. Um, so we're going to see how willing Lindy is to participate. So you're going to want to set up your stuff ahead of time. Make sure that you have some water, you have a rag for your dog's paws once they get all paint, uh, when you get the paint off of them. Um, and then we have, I have three different colors that I've chosen that I'm going to try. I'm just going to wipe off her paw in between each one. I'm not going to wash her until the end. Um, that might give us a cool effect with some different colors blended together on the flowers. Okay, so let's see how willing Lindy is. covered our fur babies, our feathered friends outside, and some other cool Earth Day activities. I hope that you enjoyed them, and I hope that you can post some of your projects on hashtag WCSFlight.